Some things are never quite what they seem. When one refers to the underworld, we instantly think of demons, fire, brimstone, eternal suffering, and the overpowering odor of sulfur. I can tell you now, it's nothing like that at all. Did you know there is a series of tunnels beneath all civilization? This is somewhat related to the hollow earth theory. Tunnels weave in cryptic patterns and lead to an entirely different world inside of this one. This world is green and lush, but mountains riddle the land, making it very easy to get lost. You will live among this world's creatures, and you will likely lose any remnants of sanity. But if you calmly and patiently explore, you will come upon something astonishing. You will find the most beautiful person you've ever seen, nude and shackled to a cliffside. They will look very hungry, and most likely they will be sleeping very deeply or appear to be in an unconscious state. At this point, you will most likely want to release them. The chain is weak and easy to break, so freeing them will not be a problem. But they are so weak, they won't be able to walk on their own, provided they even wake from their deep slumber. Now, you have two choices. You may linger here with this being and waste away, or you may take them home and live as you had before, only now with a mysterious new housemate. But keep in mind, it would be best to keep your lovely new friend a secret, or something horrible might happen. Go ahead and try to feed them. Try to give them liquid for their first. All such things will be spurned, albeit not violently. They sleep for most of the day. They will not walk upright like a human. They will crawl like an animal. They are mute and unable to speak. Try what you will to hear their voice. They come from a place where there was never a need for human language. Despite this, they will seem to behave in a more and more human manner every day. Although they may just be mimicking you, living in the overworld with you, they are likely to grow ill fast. In fact, they may die. There is only one way to save them. Feed them the only thing they will eat. Blood. Any blood will do. Whether it is animal or human, animal blood doesn't satiate them quite as long or quite as well. Human blood seems to make them the happiest and most content. This usually only means one thing to you. You will become a murderer to see your new pet happy, to feed them content and well fed, and most of all, to keep them by your side. If he or she is not fed enough, they will escape and devour what appeals to them, only to return to your home and sleep like a full-bellied kitten. Sometimes, though, the being will only eat whatever is nearest, in this case being one who labeled themselves as their master. The last thing many of them will see is the gnashing teeth of the beauty they have collected and their own blood dripping down their very sharp, vampiric teeth. No one ever sees it coming. The poor souls. They become lost in the underworld, much as their pet was. Their humanity became lost, and now they are no different than what he or she is. Because of those who have ventured to the underworld, these creatures are now among us. 
they are so silent and only gain the ability to speak once they have killed their first human. But enough of my silly story. What I've been meaning to ask you is, who's that quiet stranger you're with? They're rather easy on the eyes. Did you get a good look at their teeth? <laughs>